Japan's Secret Soil Trick, the Bokashi method that beats compost in just 14 days. You're wasting months on compost that leaks nutrients, stinks up your yard, and barely feeds your soil. What if there was a kitchen-friendly trick from Japan that turns your food scraps into nutrient-rich soil in just two weeks, without smell, pests, or mess? Today on Soil & Crop Central, we're revealing the Bokashi Method, Japan's secret soil revolution that outperforms compost every single time. Forget everything you know about traditional composting. Bokashi isn't about rotting waste. It's about fermenting it. That's right. Instead of letting your scraps decay, you turn them into a preserved, microbe-rich pre-compost that transforms into humus faster than anything you've ever tried. Unlike traditional composting, which relies on oxygen and decomposition, Bokashi uses anaerobic fermentation. It's driven by beneficial microorganisms, tiny helpers that break down organic matter in a sealed environment. The result isn't decomposed waste, but a fermented, pickled mix that's biologically active and ready to nourish your soil. This process was perfected in Japan and is now sweeping through organic gardening communities worldwide because it's faster, cleaner, and more nutrient-efficient than standard composting. And here's the kicker. You can do it right inside your kitchen. You don't need a backyard or fancy setup. You just need the right tools and a simple formula that you can mix yourself if you don't want to buy ready-made bran. You'll need a bakashi bucket with an airtight lid and a small tap or spigot at the bottom to drain liquid. Inside that bucket, you'll layer food waste and a microbial activator known as bokashi bran. To make this bran at home, you'll need 1 kilogram of wheat bran 500 milliliters of EM1 solution, which is the microbial inoculant, 2 tablespoons of molasses, and 1 liter of non-chlorinated water. Mix everything together until the bran feels moist, but not soggy. It should clump when squeezed, but not drip. Seal this mixture airtight and let it ferment for about 2 weeks. Once ready, this inoculated bran becomes your bokashi starter, the heart of the process. Start by placing a thin layer, about two to three tablespoons, of bokashi bran at the bottom of your bucket. Then add your first batch of food scraps. The beauty of bokashi is that it accepts almost everything. Fruit peels, vegetable scraps, cooked food, small bones, dairy, and even bits of meat. Chop everything into smaller pieces for faster fermentation. After each layer of waste, just sprinkle 1 to 2 tablespoons of bokashi bran for every liter of food scraps you add. Then, press the mixture down firmly with a flat utensil or even your hand, whatever works best, to get rid of any air pockets. Bokashi really thrives without oxygen, so the tighter and more compact you make it, the better. Once you've added your scraps and bran, just seal the bucket tightly. Keep it somewhere at room temperature, between 18 and 25 degrees Celsius, so it can ferment properly. Every two or three days, go ahead and drain the liquid that collects at the bottom. This is what we call Bokashi tea. Don't throw it away. It's honestly one of the most potent liquid fertilizers you'll ever use. Be sure to dilute it exactly one part Bokashi tea to 100 parts water before applying it to your plants. That means, for example, 10 milliliters of Bokashi tea per 1 liter of water. Always use it right away since it loses potency pretty quickly. And hey, you can also pour it down your drains. It'll clean out pipes and neutralize odor naturally. Once your bucket is full, just leave it sealed for about 14 days to complete fermentation. During this time, you'll notice a mild, pickled smell. Nothing like the foul odor of rot. White mold on top means the process is healthy. Green or black mold means air got in, so make sure your seal is tight next time. 
After the two-week fermentation, you'll have a bucket full of pre-compost. It won't look like traditional compost yet, it'll look more like preserved food, but it's teeming with microbes ready to transform your soil. Alright, so now it's time to take your fermented bokashi waste out to your garden or wherever you plan to plant. You'll want to dig a trench that's about 20 to 25 centimeters deep and then just go ahead and pour all those contents in. Next, you'll want to mix it lightly with the surrounding soil, aiming for about a 1 to 1 ratio by volume. So, half bokashi, half soil. Make sure you cover it completely, and that'll help keep any pests out. Over the next 2 to 3 weeks, the microbes in your soil will get to work and finish the transformation. The fermented waste will break down pretty quickly into rich, dark humus. You'll probably notice your soil getting fluffier, darker, and just a whole lot more alive. Plants grown in bokashi-treated soil show stronger root systems and faster growth because, well, the nutrients are preserved in a biologically available form. If you're working with pots or raised beds, you can mix bokashi pre-compost directly into your potting soil and just let it rest for a couple of weeks before planting. Or, you know, you can combine it with traditional compost to really supercharge your nutrient profile. Traditional composting takes months, needs space, and honestly, requires constant turning to maintain airflow. It also loses up to half its nutrients through oxidation. Ah, Bokashi, now that's something special. It finishes fermenting in just two weeks, can be done indoors, and preserves nearly all of the nutrients. We're talking especially about nitrogen, calcium, and those beneficial microbes that plants love. You know, traditional compost can often be a magnet for flies and rodents, but not Bokashi. Its sealed system keeps pests at bay, and the fermentation process? Well, it neutralizes odors like a charm. So, what's the result, you might ask? Well, it's a low-maintenance, odor-free, high-efficiency composting method. And get this, it can even handle foods that traditional compost shies away from, like dairy and meat. Quite the ultimate method, isn't it? The speed of the process is where Bokashi truly shines. In just a month from your first kitchen scrap, you can have nutrient-rich soil ready for planting. That's, well, three to four times faster than regular composting. For anyone serious about sustainable gardening, it's a complete game-changer. If your Bokashi smells rotten instead of sweet and sour, it means air got inside. Compress your layers better next time, and you know, just make sure the lid stays airtight. If you happen to see black or green mold, it's best to discard that batch. Make sure to clean your bucket with vinegar before you start again. If the contents look a bit too wet, it indicates there's too much moisture. In that case, just add some extra Bokashi brand to help absorb it. If the fermentation seems to be moving a bit slow, the temperature might be too low. It's a good idea to keep your bucket indoors where it's warmer, ideally between 20 and 25 degrees Celsius. Remember, a healthy Bokashi bucket always smells slightly tangy, like pickled vegetables, and never rotten. Bokashi doesn't just compost your food waste, it regenerates your soil. It reintroduces beneficial microorganisms that improve soil structure, increase water retention, and make nutrients more bioavailable to plants. Over time, your garden's ecosystem becomes self-sustaining and more resilient against pests and diseases. This is why Bokashi is the go-to method for high-performance organic gardening. It's compact, fast, odor-free, and honestly, it maximizes every gram of nutrition from your food waste. And best of all, it can be done by anyone, anywhere, starting today.